Okay, in part three, we're going to be looking at linking uh, reports to each other and using the run reports function to return a summary value. In this example, I've already created um, a report and I've got a run report function as a user defined column. As you can see, this this filter that's in there is driven by a column in the actual report, in this case project ID, and the result field is um, the operator is using sum and it's summing a field called raw cost. The first thing I'm going to do is refresh this report, so I'm just going to filter it on all status active reports because I want ones with values. I'm highlighting a range and then I right click and say calculate function reports wand and what it does is it goes and executes each one of those functions and um, returns the value. I can now, based on that, I can drill down to a particular report and I've just done that and now it's returned my a different report which is the expenditures all report and so now you can see that you can use functions to return a summary summary values um, and we support a couple of operators so for example um, you can use sum or you can use max or you can use count or min average and uh, I think there might be a couple of others would be in the user guide for details so I've, I've changed that to account I'm calculating the function and I can see that there's 3654 matching records in there and if I double click or I um, right click and say execute criteria uh, it calls that report that that f f function is linked to and returns that that value so just um, having a look now I've got a different report that uh, is now using a link and it's returning the word by type into, as the description and I formatted it blue with a hyperlink so the user can click on that. That's actually calling my expenditures uh, report which is one that's grouped, it's a group report using uh, grouping um, and it was conditional formatting highlighting certain areas we want to do analysis and for example on this particular report um, the hyperlink value is actually um, the numeric um, and that is achieved by using a hidden column. So H16 in this case is, is a hidden column with the actual uh, raw cost value in there and it's returning that into the cell. So he has a couple of other reports. He's, as you can see they've got a header section with charts. Um, so if you, every time you ex execute a report you can, you can click back. Okay, looking at part four of our introduction to reports one, we're going to look at how it's possible to link a GL1 report uh, to a run reports function. So in this particular example I would like to allow the user to, to be able to drill from the, a subledger drill down through to a reports1 definition. So what I can do is insert a, a, a column here. I want to put a user defined field in there. Just slightly different to how reports1 works but uh, we've got a hidden row, row2 and in there I can paste an actual function as well as enter my own description. In this case my description is going to be linked to reports one um, and my formula is going to be a run report formula which I borrowed from my other spreadsheet. So I've pasted it in here, I just need to edit it to make it relevant for where it is. I need to specify the report to location, in this case it's another spreadsheet so I find that <coughs> and I look for the reference which is the top left hand uh, section of the report. It's a top left hand field and that if it finds a, a matching layout it will use that and format my output using that. Uh, the next thing I need to do is customize the filter. In this case I'd like to filter on project name and link that to the values that are going to be in column I when I refresh that report. So I'm just linking that using normal Excel uh, functionality. I can also control what the user is going to see in each field. Um, in this case I'm using text but I could have a formula in there as well to display a different value. So I'm going to say link to project expenditures and when I, when I drill down on this report uh, next time that formula is going to be copied down by GL1. So all the user needs to do there um, is double click and then that opens up the other uh, report and uh, and publishes the, the, and executes the query there. 
So that's all we're going to show you today. Um, so reports one is coming very soon, so do check our website for um, more details. Thank you.